How to draw Webtoon panel faster using Clip Studio 3D model. Have you guys ever wonder, how can this 5080 panel of Manhua can release each week regularly? It can happen if you work with a studio, but what if you work by all of yourself? From a blank page till it becoming like this? Well, you can use Clip Studio 3D model. Just go to Window, Scroll, and Search Material, and click the 3D Material bar. You can also use Quick Access Window Tool too by clicking this. For example, I want to use this male body figure. Click those male body figure and drag it to your canvas, and it will become like this. There are so many ways to change this 3D model pose. One, change by your own preference. You can change the pose by clicking the item you want to change. For example, by clicking the head and rotate it as you like. It takes a lot of time to make your own pose. So I only using this way if I don't have any templates. Two, using Clip Studio template. You can also change the pose by the template pose you have. Go to 3D model subtabs, go to pose, and drag that pose to your character. The pose will changing as you blink. You can also search some template pose in Clip Studio Material Asset. There are so many of them. Three, hand scanner camera. Since 2.0 update, Clip Studio 3D model can use your camera scanner for it hand pose. Four, image scanner. You can use image scanner too, but it's still not perfect yet and not accurately follow the image. Five, Pose Maniacs, I think this is the best use to change this 3D model pose. Since 3.0 update, Clip Studio can integrate Pose Maniacs model to your 3D Clip Studio model. Do it by clicking this, choose the Pose Maniac, and you will go to Pose Maniacs web. Find any pose that you want and open it on your Clip Studio. Remember guys, this only work for Clip Studio 3.0. Not only that, Clip Studio also provide head-only 3D model. This is a good model. You can use this in many ways. Go to your head model setting and change the face model pose as you like. For example, you can also change its facial features. Click any face feature you want to change and change it as you like. Not only that, you can also change the head pose. Click this and change the parameter. You can make a head tilt, changing its angle, etc. Now you have your 3D model and no need to do any more sketch for your webtoon. Of course, it's saving a lot of time. Do the same way by dragging the character, find it pose and camera angle, and apply it for each panel. What's next? Well, just draw your line art. You already have this model as a sketch, you only need to draw above it. Draw your webtoon character by following the model, no need to follow it that much. Us it as your own style. I also have tips for some of you. I make my character head model at many angle by using 3D and copy them to my webtoon panel to make my work become faster. Is it cheating? Of course not. It's my own drawing. I've seen someone commenting, Hey, it's tracing. Well, it is tracing, but illegal tracing, because it's not someone art that you use to trace. Someone also says, don't do that. You will not improving and be depending to the 3D model. Don't believe them, guys. I mean, look at me. I can even draw without any sketches. Do it as long it's legal and make your work more efficient. And it makes you more productive. Don't believe them who says you won't improve by tracing a 3D. This is really helping me making my webtoon faster even if I'm facing some art block. But if I feel fresh and very willing to draw, I just draw without any sketches or 3D model, LOL. Just don't trace somebody art or even copy it and claim it as your own. 
It is a criminal. If there is a traditional artist crying, because we can do this, say this to them, move to digital and buy Clip Studio. I'm assure you guys, as a webtoonist, it is worth it. Okay, I think it's all for this time. Hope it can be useful. Love you guys.